Okay, so we are crossing the border now. We're coming to the dark side of racing. We are going away from Token and go straight into the off-dry racings, the not so dry racings. We start with another Gutswein, so a state level again, the racing tradition. Racing tradition is our entry level off-dry, the sibling to the Riesling Token on the estate level. It's a wine that is also fermented 100% in stainless steel, but the major difference is we stop the fermentation a little bit earlier. So the term tradition already indicates you're going to have a slightly off-dry wine, a wine with a little bit of natural distilled sugar. So the major difference between the Rheingau Riesling Token and the Rheingau Riesling Tradition is that we stop the fermentation earlier for the tradition to keep a little bit of higher RS level. This is similar like our great-grandfathers were making the wine. Um, the big advantage that we have today is we have a cooling system in our tanks. So we can cool down the, the wine, the juice, whenever we want it to stop. Our great-grandfathers had to wait for nature to do it. So when the winter came earlier, the fermentation stopped earlier. When the winter was later, they had more dry wines. So a little bit easier for us today. Then next in line, we come now to the so-called predicate wines. So wines where we are not allowed to use chaptalization, which we don't do anyway. But you have here the Cabinet and the Spätlesen uh, wines. We come first to the Cabinet. Um, the Cabinet is a really light and elegant um, style, the lightest. Cabinet, and this is um, for me, a really wonderful wine because a good cabinet should dance on your tongue. It's a wine that is really light, elegant, refreshing, more citrusy and lime mm -hmm. um, compared to what you have in what you're going to find in the Spätlese. But the cabinet wines are really light and they are wines that will last for a long time as well. These are wines that we select from top of the vineyards close to the forest because we find ideal slow ripening um, conditions up there. And this is what we have to do. For the cabinet. Selected from the same vineyards, but um, a little bit different in style, is the Spätlese. The Spätlese is harvested later. This is also what this term means. Spät is the German ter term for late, and Lese means harvest, so late harvest. This is actually also a style of wine that was invented in the Rheingau. We keep this tradition going on. Like the cabinet, like the tradition, this is again the Gutswein level, so we are talking about the estate level. The Spätlese is due to the longer hang time, to the more ripe or to the riper berries. It is more powerful. It's rounder. It's more apricot, peach, really ripe fruits, like the cabinet and the tradition, one hundred percent fermented in stainless steel. Excellent. So the vineyard that you were speaking of, up close to the forest at the top of the hill. Yeah. It Tell us the name. Um, the name is Wasserwurz. But sometimes you will also find some other vineyards in there. This is why okay. it doesn't have a vineyard designation, um, because we want to have a little bit more flexibility, because sometimes also depending on, on the vintage, things can work, turn out a little bit different. Great. The big brother, in terms of Spätlese, we are coming back to the Grand Cru level, to the Große Lage, is, Spätle, uh, is the Gräfenberg. Spätlese. The Gräfenberg Spätlese as the big brother of the regular Spätlese and also the off-dry counterpart to the Gräfenberg Großes Gewächs. Harvested at the same time, a little bit riper. And while the Gräfenberg Großes Gewächs is fermented 100% in oak, the Gräfenberg Spätlese is 100% fermented in stainless steel. For us, really fantastic wines. Um, in the Gräfenberg, we're making all the different sweet wine levels that you find in Germany. We make the Spätlese, we make the Auslese, Bärenauslese and Trockenbärenauslese. We will also always yeah, gamble, you could call it, for ice wine, which sometimes works out, sometimes it does not. Um, here, the Gräfenberg Spätlese is something that we really like to make because it's a wonderful, elegant wine, especially with Thai food. It can be really excellent. Indian curry is a wonderful fit with them. So there are many opportunities with this wine and really a wine of great heritage in Germany. In general, for us, we already talked about it, the 17 passes help us to produce this entire range of sweet wines next to the dry wines. And we are very proud because um, the new vintage after 2017 comes 2018. 2018 actually marks the 30th consecutive vintage of Trockenbeeren Auslese, Beeren Auslese, Auslese, 
in cabinet being harvested at Rango Robert Wein, which sets a world and, record. And Spätlese. Yeah, and the Spätlese. Got them all. Not, not, to, not to forget. <laughs> Pretty amazing. And I really appreciate the tasting. It was an amazing experience.